Most of the factors that predict whether or not something that is being perceived will also be remembered operate in the first few seconds of learning. One of these factors involves something termed a schema and whether or not the new learning bumps into one. Let me show you an example of a schema by having Dr. Whitehead and myself read a paragraph to you, one actually taken from a famous research paper. Your job is to remember as many facts about the paragraph as you can. Let me tell you in advance that you are going to fail miserably at this task unless I do something first. I can instantly improve your memory score from between 50 to 100 percent simply by adding seven little words before you hear Dr. Whitehead and myself. But I'm not going to do that. You will hear the paragraph first, then I will read you the words. The procedure is actually quite simple. First, you arrange things into different groups. Of course, one pile may be sufficient, depending on how much there is to do. If you have to go somewhere else due to lack of facilities, that is the next step. Otherwise, you are pretty well set. It is important not to overdo things. That is, it is better to do too few things at once than too many. In the short run, this might not seem important, but complications can easily arise. A mistake can be expensive as well. After the procedure is completed, one arranges the materials into different groups again. Then they can be put into their appropriate places. Eventually, they'll be used once more in the whole cycle or have to be repeated. However, that is a part of life. Did you get all that? No? Let us give you now the seven magic little words. This paragraph is all about washing clothes. What that sentence provides for you is a mental framework, a way of organizing thoughts around some aspect of the world. We call such frameworks schemas, and you have them about people, situations, objects. This means something profound. Prior knowledge can disturbingly shape how you memorize and retain for long-term storage future knowledge. If a schema is triggered near the moment of learning, that learning is more permanent. Brain ooze! <laughs>